Hi, I'm back to demonstrate some final features of the Destructible Mesh Editor. Now, I showed a little bit of this last time, but I didn't get a chance to show how cutout works, because it didn't work. Uh, thanks to a lot of help from Brian Galdrickian from NVIDIA. I'm sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, Brian. Uh, I've managed to get this to actually work now. This is what a cutout set can look like. It's just a bunch of lines and each line of those on this cutout set is going to cut the mesh that it's applied to. I'll just show it to you very quickly and hopefully everything works. Okay, so here is our boring little cube. Now I've also done some slight UI changes. There's two buttons here now because I wanted to make it clear how things worked. So for instance, you can scale cube and now that's considered to be a root mesh change. None of these changes will now be valid. So you hit click that. And what it's done is it's regenerated the chunks on this side. So now we can go here and we can add cutout. And as you can see, it is now, this button is now lit up. But let's just do a quick test. Oak interior material. And we'll do cutout test, which is the one that you saw on the scene and we'll add a negative X cut plane. Now see that defaults to one, but uh, well, let's just leave it at one for this test. So now we'll, we'll not touch any of the defaults and just try the default. Bang. This is quite a bit slower in, because it's in debug mode, in release or in even in development, it will be quite a bit faster. So now you can see the same texture problem that's still unsolved. It will be, it, help, it will need the help of Nvidia. But as you can see, you've got a whole bunch of chunks now Okay, but let's let's uh, change it a little bit. Let's take our negative X cut plane and we'll scale it a little bit. And we'll move it around so we just get, say, the top left. So now we should just be getting eight there and looks maybe 12 there, depending on whether it generates a sliver or not. Yeah, and there we go. So as you can see, it worked. Now, unfortunately, uh, core meshes don't work with cutout mode, so I can't demo that. Uh, that's a that's a feature that will probably be added to the Apex Destructible Mesh SDK at some point. And uh, that's it. That is the fracture cutout mode.